In this video, we'll be making a half header using VHDL. I'll be using Sonata Symphony. But the process is almost same for all the softwares. Here I've created the workspace half header, which you can create using new workspace and then adding the workspace name and then the location. But I've created it and I've also started like using you can create a new file like so okay here I've started writing the VHDL code and I will save it in an appropriate location like this was the location I selected for half adder so I'll name it H A dot see now the color has changed okay so H A uh, what do I call it let it be H A only okay is port these are the inputs so I'll call it in bit and uh, output oh sorry s and c c out they are the out bit and, out, and I'll also take a clock which is not required for half header but for most of the structures that you'll be making you'll be using it so I'll use it here just a bit and our end IT is made now I'll write the architecture but before that I'll save it because it's a good habit to save it occasionally okay now architecture I like to call it like that you know the entity name and then the architecture but you can keep it anyway The architecture I'll be writing is of data flow style. Wherein I'll simply like concurrent statements will like the S is A XOR B and C out is A and B. Brackets are not required at this place, but it's always good to use them. And then end architecture, or it can be like H A arc also. So I'll save it, and now I'll include it. Add files. So here are two files. This one I just created in front of you. I'll add it. Okay. So you can see the entity and the architecture. It's appeared here. And now to see the waveform, we need to have a test bench. Many softwares like Xilinx write the test bench for you. It's very convenient, but you should know how to write the test bench. Uh, it's not very complicated and once you do it uh, you can write pretty much for any architecture uh, here i have already written it to save time so i'll just include that also i'll show it to you here so here's the entity h a t b stands for test bench and it doesn't contain anything basically 
and here's the architecture of the test bench so you can see it okay and I'll quickly show you what each thing does I've made a component it is as you can see uh, nothing different from like uh, all these signals I have just included here they are here and a constant you know the period of the our waveform and here are all these signals oh this one is actually extra I'll just remove it I have initialized clock and the signals to zero and the boolean the done. Done basically uh, shows us uh, when our waveform is complete uh, or else it will run endlessly. So, and okay, so this is just the instantiation of our test bench component. Uh, I declared the component as TBC test bench component and u1 is like uh, you know, just it's created an instance of tbc and here's the clock process uh, in which basically the, you know, the clock will be going from high to low after like uh, half of the period and This process is the most important process for the waveform generation. Here I have included all uh, possible like cases for the inputs A and B, like, like 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, and after like all these four cases, I have just they done equal to true and then wait like this waits forever and this this is all I'll just save it and, and now I need to compile it for compilation here is like compile you can also press ctrl f7 and you can do it from here you can compile all I'll do it Oh, okay, so there is some error which I'll quickly remove. It says syntax error. I'll see where it is. No, it says the comma is unexpected and it is actually expecting a bracket. So it should be this excuse me okay I'll save it again and I'll do it. now it's done there's no more error okay after compilation we can we have to do the build and we have to like start the simulation uh, so you can use this icon and use it now we need to select the top level and most of the time it is when you are you are using a test bench so it will be the test bench entity selected it and here now our waveform will appear and these are the signals these are the various signals I'll add all signals to waveform so all our waveforms are here and using this I can do run all like our simulation will go on as long as like done is false or you or you can like in, uh, do it in like steps of 100 nanosecond by using this run so I'll do run all and 
so here are small uh, waveform it's appeared here i'll just try to like zoom in i do more zoom in. so so now notice like first of all here i'll place the cursor uh, a b are 0 0 and so are like s and c out and now when a is 0 b is 1 the sum is 1 and the carry out is again 0 next case we have a 1 b 0 and you can see the sum is 1 and carry out is 0 and lastly I have taken like a and b both of them as 1 so the sum is 0 and uh, carry out is 1 so this is the expected output so our code was correct we have generated the waveform and that's all to it and just for like you can notice so like at 50 nanosecond our uh, one of the clock is uh, this like going from low to high and this, this is the duration of one period and this you, you should notice all these transitions that are taking place and how our uh, like done variable becomes true so that's all for this video thank you